Are you sure you know how to really wash your hair properly? If you're new to my channel, I'm Mike. I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal colour specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, I'm going to be going through each and every step, how you should wash your hair properly and why. Also, how to use the products correctly because I do feel like loads of people don't really know how to use shampoos, conditioners correctly and how to actually wash their hair. So if you want to find out more about this, then keep on watching. I find it rather bizarre how many people actually don't know how to wash their hair correctly. And do you know what? When it comes to washing hair, why not ask a hairdresser? I wash about five to six heads a day and I have it down to the T. And I can tell you a few tricks how you should wash your hair to get the best results and use the right amount of product. Because I find loads of people use way too much product and that's why they don't end up buying the high-end hair products because they just feel like they're wasting it on their hair or they have huge amount of hair. Well, let me start saying by the amount of hair doesn't really matter how you should wash your hair. You're not really washing hair, if that makes sense. You're really washing the scalp. But let's get into each and every step. How often you should wash your hair? Well, that's very debatable. Some people you shouldn't wash it too often. Some people say you should wash it every day. Some people say you shouldn't wash it for weeks. To be honest, I never found any difference. Like if your hair gets oily quickly, wash it. If you've dandruff, wash it every day. If your hair lasts for days, wash it. It's not really gonna change the texture or the quality of your hair. The only thing that can happen is if you wash your hair more often, you're putting a lot more heat into it. If you're not using heat protector, you're gonna cause more damage. When it comes to frequency of washing your hair, it doesn't really matter. Now, I'm not gonna wash my hair on camera because it's gonna be really messy and I feel it's gonna be pointless, but I can walk you through each and every step. Using the right product is very, very important. This is gonna give you the quality of your hair, the quality of your wash, as well as the experience. The water temperature. Now, that's another myth that I've heard a lot. Loads of people say rinse your hair for 30 seconds with cold water. Now, what cold water actually does to the hair is seals the cuticles but so does the conditioner. If you wash your hair with cold water, one, cold water will not stimulate the sebaceous glands. So sebaceous glands are glands found in the epidermis of your scalp, and that's what creates sebum, which is oil. So cold water is not gonna spread the product so well, as well it's not gonna rinse it out. So if you're rinsing your hair with cold water, one, you're probably not gonna rinse it correctly. Now, I would probably recommend lukewarm water, not too hot, and not too cold. There's loads of people are saying that if your hair is oily you should use hot water and that's wrong. If you find your hair oily, look warm water is the best when it comes to washing your hair. Warm water is gonna stimulate the sebaceous glands, help to open the cuticles so the product can really get into the hair. Right, so how to wash your hair and bit of science behind it. First of all, you should always and always shampoo your hair twice. Why? The first shampoo is gonna break the surface tension of the hair. And what is surface tension? It's the ability of water to glide on an object. In that case, it's the water gliding on the hair. When you just run in water through your hair, the water is literally gliding. It's not actually doing anything. And first shampoo will never lather. The first shampoo is gonna break that surface tension and start to remove dirt and oil. So if you're washing your hair and you're putting more and more shampoo just to try to lather that up, this is not a good idea. So with the first shampoo, literally all you need, this is my shampoo, and all you need is about that much of shampoo. You really need just about 50 cent size of shampoo. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that your hair is saturated. Make sure you get the water everywhere. You make sure you get it underneath, behind your ears, and on your crown. If your hair isn't saturated, the shampoo is not gonna work as well. Why? Because, especially with professional shampoos, they are a lot more concentrated. So think of it as your washing up liquid. Washing up liquid is very concentrated, so when you mix it with water, boom, you get the bubbles and that's how it starts working. So like that, once your hair is fully saturated, you put your shampoo on your palm and literally you start rubbing it in. Then you can add a tiny bit more water onto your hands because like we said, professional shampoos are concentrated. So we need to dilute them with water. You put more water onto your hair and you start massaging it in. Don't be too gentle, don't be too harsh. Just really massage it in. Make sure you get it at the back, on your crown, on the top and on the temples. 
Once you feel like you've spread the product everywhere, you can rinse it. Now, another thing is, don't touch the ends of the hair. Another common mistake people do is they do this. You're not washing clothes, you're washing hair. The minute water hits the hair, the cuticles tend to open slightly and then when you start to shampoo your scalp, because you really are cleansing the scalp, the good ingredients will start coming down onto your hair and it will clean it. There's no need of scrubbing this and that and the other. Like literally, just be very gentle and leave your ends. Because if you start rubbing it, you're making the hair drier. You're breaking the hair. You're putting so much tension on the hair. So washing your hair is just as important as caring for it. So once you make sure the product is rinsed, then you're gonna go in with your second shampoo. The second shampoo is actually gonna work on your hair. So if you have a shampoo for dry hair, that's when the shampoo actually starts working. Because with first shampoo, all you've done is just get rid of that surface tension, that grease and that oil. Then with the second shampoo, it's gonna lather up a lot more. Why? Because hair is one, squeaky clean. And cleaner hair will lather up a lot quicker because there is less grease on it. So the second shampoo will lather a lot more. Still, don't rub onto the ends. Just really scrub it onto the scalp. So you'd like that, you're gonna rub it here, here, onto the crown and onto the back until you've washed your whole head. And like that, the active ingredients and the good properties from the shampoo will travel onto the ends. So once that's done, make sure you rinse the hair completely. Don't leave any suds in it. Make sure to shake it out. Shaking it out is actually a very, very good trick. So when you're rinsing your hair, make sure you give it a good, a good shake just to get rid of all the suds. Once that's done, make sure to squeeze any excess water from the hair before applying conditioner. Why? Because we don't want to dilute the consistency of the conditioner. If there's a lot of water on the hair and you add conditioner that has very good properties that is gonna work on your hair, you're literally just diluting it and it's probably not doing anything. So like that, with your conditioner, so this is my source essential that I absolutely love. Like that, same, about 50 size. I probably would use even less. And like that, rub it through your hands and bring it through middle ends and ends and massage it. Don't bother adding more and more and more. The conditioner, as it says, conditions the hair. Also, it balances the pH of the hair. Water is at its neutral pH, and hair lies anywhere between 4.5 to 5.5. So obviously, when you're washing your hair and adding water, the pH jumps. So the conditioner will actually bring the pH back to its natural and seal that cuticle. So a conditioner is nearly like a toner for your face. Just brings the pH balance and closes all the cuticles. And like that, if a conditioner says leave it for two or three minutes, leave it for two or three minutes. Don't leave it overnight unless it says so. There's nothing worse than letting a mask or a conditioner dry into the hair and then you rinse it and your hair will just feel limp. It's gonna be hard to rinse and you literally will have to shampoo it off. Like that, when you rinse in the conditioner, Make sure you give it a good shake. Make sure you rinse it all out with warm water. And then once you feel like there's nothing else left on your hair, you can do your cold water rinse if you want to. I don't see any reasons why you should because the cuticle is already closed. I'd say it's probably nice for refreshing and we've all met those people that said, oh, my mother always washed her hair with cold water and she's lovely head of hair. If she has lovely head of hair, fair play to her. She's, it's probably jeans, so like that it hasn't been scientifically proven that cold water is going to give you good head of hair and like that once everything rinse come out of the shower towel dry it and then start combing your hair loads of people don't really know how to wash their hair properly and you know what one main thing is they're afraid to buy professional products because they feel like they're wasting it a professional product should last you anywhere up to three months if you're washing it correctly and daily and i would probably get two and a half, three months out of my shampoo and I wash my hair every day and I do two shampoos. And like that, avoid mistakes like trying to add more product if you feel like it. The first shampoo, all it's gonna do is just gonna break that surface tension, cleans the oils, and then second shampoo is gonna work on your hair. If you're going through a bottle of 500 ml supermarket shampoo in a month, you're obviously not washing your hair correctly. And like that, if you're not performing two washes, your hair is not actually getting the benefit and the goodness of the shampoo that the company is claiming that it's gonna give you. Anyways guys, 
Let me know how you wash your hair and if you're going to change anything about washing your hair after watching this film. I hope you found this film rather interesting, helpful and useful. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my other social media. And of course guys, Gormila Maggot Agaslan. Bye.